Well, we have only managed to get a Gazella. Well, part of one anyway, but what a beautiful frame this is. This is a Champion Mondial AA Super Frame 531C tubing, and it's the mono state with the scallop at the back here. I first seen this frame when I visited Mitch with his bicycle collection, was really impressed, and I fell in love with this frame. So I've managed to get one, really excited indeed. But before we delve into the frame itself and go into a bit more detail, I wanted to cover a bit of history. We've not had a Gazelle on the channel and uh, it's a very important company indeed. It's, uh, it's only the largest bicycle company in the Netherlands, started in 1892 and I've actually managed to find some footage from 1925 in the factory. The company was formed in 1892 by Willem Colling, I think it's pronounced, uh, it was a postal manager. He started out slowly by producing one bicycle. Trade grew and in turn formed a partnership with Smith, Rudolf, Anstead. Gazella in 1954 hit one million bikes and became a public company. In the 1960s, Gazella developed a special racing division. This department was in house and consisted of 35 talented employees. One of the most well-known and successful frames produced by Gazella is the Champion Mondial. This frame was used by the racing team TVM in the 1980s and was ridden to success in many races. It was acquired by Con Holdings in 2011, co-owner of the Cervelo bicycle brand. The company is still producing bicycles to this day and has produced over 13 million. We are extremely lucky to have one of their beautiful AA Super Champion Mondial frames here and I am personally super excited about that. I've wanted to own a Gazella for quite some time and what we're going to actually do is mix this up a little bit. Because the frame itself has got quite a bit of rust on this down tube here and also at the top, and we've got some rust on the rear stays as well. We're actually gonna use our good friend Mark from MR Creations and have a professional paint job done on this frame to really clean it up. So to prep it, I'm just gonna take off the head tube and a few bolts and we're gonna leave it in the good hands of Mark. I've got a group set to find, some wheels, handlebars and everything else. So there's plenty to be getting on with. So let's leave it with him and take it from there. Well, I have got a massive smile on my face. Mark from MR Creations really has worked his magic on this frame. Done in pearl white with this metallic blue band. For me, these were the traditional Gazella colors and the frame has come out absolutely stunning. Mark really has worked those magic 
We've got blue detailing on the lug work here. That's actually hand painted on. And trust the detailing on the Gazella itself is unbelievable. It's absolutely perfect. We've got a Gazella down here on the mono stay, and we've also fitted the headset and also the seal bottom bracket to accept the group sets. That's on the side there, I'll get to that in one moment. We've also had to adapt the gear levers, which will probably give the, the group set away, but we've had to actually adapt them to fit the square mount, which is on the down tube of the frame. So we've actually had to file them down to actually fit onto the mount itself. We have done, they're working fine. So that's all ready to go. And the group set is the Durace 7400 for me, probably the best Durace looking group set that was. So we've got that all on the side there, it's all complete. It does need a little bit of detailing and cleaning up, so I'm gonna polish that. We've also got a Campagnolo fruited seat post to actually polish. We've got Sinelli handlebar stem and uh, handlebars, so we're going to wrap them in a minute, and I've got some beautiful handlebar wrap, which is going to complement this frame, fantastic. So you're gonna be getting on with that. I've got a saddle to find, and we've also, uh, we're having some wheels built up from Mitch, from Life on Wheels, we did his bicycle collection, so he's kindly actually building some wheels up, brand spanking new Mavic rims with the Durace hubs to match the group set. So we've got them to be getting on uh, with, and we've also uh, got to find that all important water bottle. So loads to be getting on with, so let's get a move on with that. sound sweet these have turned out absolutely beautiful new old stock Mavic rims Durace hubs and uh, we've got some Challenge Elite um, tubular tyres on here so very impressed with them and thanks Mitch for sorting these out very impressed indeed and I can't wait to get rolling on these we've also got a new saddle we've got a brand spanking new turbo saddle all wrapped up here so it's actually a suede turbo saddle that should look really well and we've also uh, got all the group set on the side there that's all polished we do have a video available to watch with regards to how to polish metal if you are interested in that so we've got the group set on the side there we've got the handlebars wrapped and obviously we've got the wheel set all ready to go not much left to do now all we've got to do is put the rest of this group set on the frame that's all ready to go as we've already explained so what are we waiting for i can't wait let's get this bike back together Wow, well 
doesn't it look absolutely stunning really happy with this build it's possibly the best build yet i can't wait to get rolling on this so hang around for that because we will be getting this bike out for a ride but yes the group set well that's beautiful absolutely bomb proof and looks stunning very precise and it looks amazing on this frame set compared to when the frame came in and how the bike looks now it's some transformation so big thanks to Mark from MR Creations and also Mitch from Life on Wheels who built the wheel set up and made this happen so yes I really really am happy with this we do finish the builds off with a water bottle I did struggle a little bit I was looking for a Gazella one couldn't find one at all then I started looking for a Shimano one couldn't find one but we've got a retro Campagnolo one to go in here we do have a campagnolo seat post so let's pop it in have a look brilliant well we've got the blue and the white and it looks very nice indeed this bike definitely does deserve though a proper ride so all we need to do now is get changed well we have got a gazella jersey to go with the bike the sun is out so let's get these guns out and try this bike out i cannot wait Manchester weather the sun has gone in the clouds have come out it started to rain but I have still got a massive smile on my face this Gazella mono stay is absolutely a beautiful to ride with the bomb proof Shimano 7400 group set it's absolutely stunning to look at and amazing to ride I can't recommend recycling a bicycle enough and saving these beautiful pieces of art if you have enjoyed watching the video then please like share and subscribe other than that thanks for watching bye for now right everybody this is Stuart he's the one holding the camera normally so uh, big thanks to this guy he has to put with me and all the potholes um, so there we go <laughs>